What's up, Benzo Warriors? Neighbor Bob here. <laughs> What'd it be like? <laughs> Thought I was gone this time for good, didn't you? Well, today I'd like to go into a very important video of uh, my number one tip to promote Benzo Healing. My very number one tip. Before I do that, let me give you a quick update of why I've been gone for so long. Uh, my father uh, was 92 years old and he had a real rough run the last five months or so and uh, uh, he had a bad heart and his kidneys were getting bad and uh, he had a very good full life healthy for the most part until the last five months and then he went downhill and passed away on October 16th uh, a couple months ago so I haven't been on because of that he was in and out of the nursing home and uh, also in uh, just after my last video in mid-June I flipped on an air conditioner here in the house, a room air conditioner. It was out in the garage. I didn't know it was full of black mold. And my lungs have been trashed ever since then. I have lost my voice uh, until recently. Completely lost it, so it's a little off still. And uh, you can see back in here, I've got a... Uh, wherever, which way it is? <laughs> back on my cabinet there, I've got a uh, nebulizer. And I've been nebulizing uh, 20 parts per million uh, silver and uh, L-glutathione, which is really good for uh, the lungs also. So I'm coming out of that finally. So here I am again, and I've been meaning to put this video out forever, and I just haven't felt well enough to do it and everything going on. But uh, enough about me. Let's get back to the my number one tip on healing, promoting healing for benzos, and that tip is photobiomodulation. It's a big long word for uh, shining light on your head and not just any kind of light but uh, infrared light and not just any infrared light uh, preferably one that is full spectrum so before I forget uh, look under the video and the links in the description down below and uh, the very first two links will show you uh, what I'm talking about the picture on the video uh, front there is a uh, is a clamp light it's got a shield on it and they sell them at farm stores or Amazon where I've got the link you can buy at Amazon farms your local farm store will have the same thing make sure you get one that's rated for at least 150 watt bulbs some of them are rated for 150 some 250 some even 300 so you don't even need those large ones uh, you need a 150 and I want to provide you the link on Amazon is that and then uh, secondly you need one light and this is important don't just go to your uh, local Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up a light there they have Phillips brand and different ones there um, to be safe why don't you spend the extra ten dollars uh, you can get one at Lowe's or something for nine dollars but uh, go to the the second link I provided which is therabulb.com they have therapeutic infrared lights and they are in the wavelength between 700 and 1000 nanometers of a certain wavelength and uh, to make sure you're getting a real infrared bulb. A lot of those bulbs they just put red tape over them like and they're like the ones where you step out in your hotel and uh, in the shower and you look up and and it's a warm red bulb up there. Uh, chances are that's probably not infrared but it's uh, it's a heat lamp what they call a heat lamp. So make sure you get the right bulb and I highly recommend that Therabulb. Uh, the Therabulb is like uh, $21.99 and the uh, uh, clamp light is I think I believe uh, don't quote me on that but I think it's $9.99 so you'll have just under $32 in the whole thing to try it out. So my advice and and, and again this isn't any kind of uh, medical advice because I'm not any kind of medical doctor. this is just therapeutic advice so take it for what it's worth uh, my advice would be to take that clamp light and uh, you could do it different ways um, from what I've read and I've, I've studied this fairly extensively my background in uh, uh, quite a background in sauna because if you follow my channel I had a, a TBI uh, traumatic brain injury back in 1998 from 27 years of breathing solvents and uh, I used a lot of sauna uh, far infrared and near infrared and it helped me tremendously over the years especially that first year but uh, and I've got my own sauna if you look back at my videos I show how to build a uh, build an infrared sauna out of 
for two three hundred dollars a little tent sauna that you can build a whole sauna but you don't even need that i know a lot of people on benzo withdrawal or strap for cash so try this out uh this will give you something proactive to do because i know i did a lot of sauna toward the end before i healed and i basically healed overnight when i healed if you look at my videos i uh one night i went to bed worse than i've ever been my whole life and the next morning i woke up and it was just completely shut off and just completely gone and uh been that way ever since i never had any relapses or anything like that so i would highly recommend this also there will be about a half a dozen links in the description there's been very much uh very many studies uh medical medical studies uh, clinical studies uh on this photo biomodulation shining the light on your head so it's not something i just dreamed up it's uh, you'll see that they use it for gulf war victims they use it for victims of traumatic brain injury uh, it has the ability to uh, wake up and regrow nerves and uh, it's just amazing read some of that read some of that uh, of the six articles that I put down below on that and you'll understand it more for yourself I've studied it fairly extensively there's even a there's even a link I'm putting on there to a uh, type of infrared uh, stimulator that goes in your nostrils um, it's about five hundred dollars it's not that cheap but it it, uh, it uh, kind of hones in on deep down in your brain deeper there through your nostrils and that's provided uh, they've done a lot of stuff with Gulf War victims victims and stuff like that with uh, using that type of uh, approach too but again if you want something that's achievable for about everybody for $32 now if you don't live in the United States uh, look on that Therabulb scroll to the bottom of the page and it'll show you a, uh, a link for EU bulbs in other words uh, if you're in uh, Philippines or India or uh, Europe or whatever and you've got the uh, uh, you need the 240 volt instead of the 120 it'll show you that <coughs> excuse me uh, so go there if get the bulb you need and hopefully get it delivered to you and I would recommend it's a clamp light you can put uh, it's it's coated so it doesn't scar up your furniture but you could put a hand towel over the back of one of those oak chairs back there a high back oak chair and you could sit it right in front of you uh, where you're, you're sitting in a chair in the living room or you could sit in another kitchen chair and you could I, I would recommend uh, from what I've read about 30 minutes maybe twice a day like morning and night doing this uh, shining I would first start out by shining the light on uh, your front temporal lobes up here in your front of your forehead where your, a lot of your, your front temporal lobes are responsible for a lot of your executive functioning and such. I would shine the light on there for, I would get yourself a kitchen timer like this and set it for maybe 15 minutes say. And uh, with that 150 watt bulb, I've not had 150, I've had 250s and I was about four feet away from four of them in the sauna. On my body but every now and then I would uh, put my elbows slouch over put my elbows on my knees and I'd drop my head down look at the floor and I'd let that thing hit me on the top of my flat head and uh, I think that helped me a lot it also that light is great for uh, any kind of nerve pain or muscle tension um, infrared light those particular bulbs, the therabulbs, do not get quite as hot as regular bulbs do. They've got a double coating of the red on there to keep the heat down, but you don't uh, you don't lose the benefit of the infrared. If you read on their specifications, uh, they are made for to be a therapeutic light, so you don't want to feel like your head's burning. As I, I, far as distance, I would start out at maybe a foot and a half from your from your head, and then come in from there. Maybe you can come into a foot, or maybe a little closer. Uh, if you come in too far and and you and you uh, smell brains cooking, that's probably going to back it off a little bit. I would say, <laughs> so, duh, you know, don't say, well, Bob, I, you know, I pulled that light in like you said, and I put it like three inches off my head, and it, you know, it uh, frizzed my hair all up and gave me an afro. You know, you don't want that. So uh, I would put it on your front frontal lobes for say 15 minutes, and then I would. Uh, I, for myself, I could put I could put it back there on one of those oak chairs behind my futon that's behind us, and uh, I could shine it over the top of the futon on the top of my head, and do another 15 minutes on the top of my head. And I would set a timer so you don't go to sleep and <laughs> go to sleep with it on there for several hours and, and fry your brain or something like that. So 
timer's always handy. But if you read the uh, all the studies there, you will find out the science behind that, and there is a lot of science behind it. In my mind, what I think it would be like is uh, if you took a couple of little flower pots and you planted some seeds in there in April and you watered them just exactly the same, but you put one of them in your closet with the door shut, your clothes closet with the door shut, and you put the other one out in the uh, sunshine during the daytime and left it out all the time to get sun, uh, which one of those do you think would grow better? The one in the closet wouldn't grow at all because it don't have any light. So light uh, really... Uh, ignites a lot of different processes and stuff, and especially infrared, because near infrared, the rays of near infrared as opposed to far, they uh, are said to penetrate three to five inches into the body or whatever they're hitting. So you can count on them penetrating in there and uh, getting in farther into your brain. Now, as you read the the studies, uh, every single one I've seen said there's no detrimental effects at all to this. They said it's completely safe. They've never come up with a bad side effect from it. I said unless you're, you know, not too uh, bright and you st stick it so close that you burn your skin with it or something, uh, I think you're going to be just fine with it. But then again, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> I used a lot of infrared uh, while I was healing for my benzos and it seemed to help me I uh, again I healed at 21 months from the last time I took my last benzo and I had a real bad run of it I didn't have any uh, I didn't have any windows I had a wave at the end <coughs> I had a wave at the end of uh, for the last month and a half 19 and a half months to 21 uh, that it got like a thousand percent worse I called a surge not everybody has those. We're all different. We all experience different things. So what I'm hoping this would do for somebody is I'm hoping that it would uh, jump start those neurons that have been, uh, in a sense, hammered down. They've just been beaten down with those benzos and dulled and uh, made non-working for so many years, in my case, over 13 years, that, uh, that I was on the benzos. So I think a lot of people could use this to jumpstart their neurons. And uh, I, liken, I liken it to when my, when, when my, everything got better for me. It is just like a, kind of like electrical current, like flickering. Like when your lights flicker in your house and they flicker a few times and then they go off and then they, they flicker a few more times when they come on. And uh, finally it catches, you know, and, and you've got light again. I think you're basically just like short-circuited from everything I've read on the um, on your benzo receptors being depressed by these uh, benzodiazepines. So I think especially a lot of people that have been suffering for a long time or even a short amount of time, give this a tr uh, try. It's a, it's a cheap fix if it works. It's $32. Uh, so I recommend a couple times a day, maybe 30 minutes a day, twice a day, um, and see what that might be be able to do for you. I surely think it could hurt nothing, but from all those uh, studies, and I suggest you read all of them, go through them, uh, look at them for yourself, judge for yourself it's, if it's something you think that you might want to give it a try. And like I said, you can get that clamp light anywhere. That doesn't have to be Amazon. Uh, I'm not linked up to those um, links that I provide under my under my uh, video or either. So. I don't get any any kind of a kick from uh, from you clicking on that link. So get them get them anywhere you want, but do get the bulb. Uh, make sure they do sell a 250 watt there. Also, the one I the one I linked you to is the 150 watt. So no sense going overkill on it. It's cheaper and it should do the job fine. So anyway, give that a try. And I was long ago I said something about doing a video on um, things to do after after you heal from benzos because just about anything as I look back just about anything I tried for supplements magnesium um, some different supplements I tried they just made me worse so there's really not much you can do other than suffer through it but this is something that you could do proactively to possibly jump start your healing and get you snapped back into reality uh, from your benzo nightmare so I hope this has been helpful, and uh, if this uh, anybody tries this and it works for them, 
I'd sure appreciate knowing. Um, didn't write it down, but my email, as always, is daddy, and then the letter N. So daddy, N, I, O, W, A, Iowa, at gmail.com. And uh, I'd like to hear from you anytime. I don't give out medical advice, but if there's any light I could shed on your situation uh, from the many, many people that I've talked to that have shared their situations with me, I'd be glad to do uh, what I can to uh, maybe take a little of the uh, uh, fear out of what you're going through in benzoyl withdrawal. So I hope that works for you. Hope it's helpful. Have a good one. Bye-bye.